Pause. Get off stage. Stealing our thunder. All right. Uh, the dwarves in the new Snow White movie will be strictly CGI. So that means Victor is officially out of a job. Good one, baby reindeer. Uh, <laughs> Tell me more, Timu Pedro Pascal. Yeah, no, no, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Liz is an ugly ginger. She looks like Kim Possible if she fucked the naked mole rat. I don't know if you're cuter right now or last week at your quinceanera. But uh, that's cool. You look like you sell timeshares to migrants on their way to the U.S. border. I just heard you call me cute. That's it. <laughs> you got to answer. Liz, you look like you have a part-time job working at a glory hole. Don't get short with me, Papa Smurf. Victor is the type to rub your inner thigh crease for 10 minutes and then ask if you came. <laughs> or in your case, thigh creases. You're Mexican, you love fat bitches, calm down. I wouldn't fuck you with his dick. Uh, <laughs> Liz is built like Mrs. Puff from SpongeBob. Yeah, fat and no boobs. Don't, don't feel too bad for her, even though she's an A cup, her second chin is a double D. <laughs> Who DoorDash shrimp and why is it talking to me? Uh, Victor is Mexican, American, and loves anime. So he's a triple threat at repelling pussy in every culture he touches. That's what's up. <laughs> oh man, you look like a Make-A-Wish child that forgot to die. <laughs> Where's Cosmo and Wanda, midget Timmy Turner? Not only is Victor white passing, but his comedy passes as white noise. <laughs> Do I look white to you? Nah, man. We both get pulled over by TSA, wouldn't we? Yeah. <laughs> Wrong kind of No, no, dude. Uh, Liz is fat and into fashion. She looks like Cruella DeVille if she ate all the dogs. You look like a Panic at the Disco Pablo Escobar. Yeah, I think that was all five of us. No, I got, I got, wait, is that, I got one, is that? If you got one more, go ahead. Oh, go okay. Ahead. Um, Victor Couch surfs in the tri-state area to do stand-up comedy. So he's Mexican enough to be a migrant, but he's not white enough for van life. I don't know what that means. Um, Liz is so fat. How fat is she? Liz is so fat, her zodiac sign is the McRib. <laughs> Everybody, give it up for them. Yeah. Give it up for them, you guys. That was mean. That was mean and weird. Oh my God. Uh, all right, I'm turning it to the panelists. <laughs> Chris Greco. Yes. Go first. Wow. Liz, you look like you're wearing a. <laughs> you look like you're wearing <laughs> a smaller girl's prom dress. But. <laughs> Chris. <laughs> Chris, I lent her my prom dress. <laughs> yeah. oh. Wow. Man, you were, uh, you were mean. You were mean, and they didn't like all the racist stuff up top, but they loved the fat stuff on this one. Yeah. They loved it. Uh, dude, this is your first time doing the show? Yep. Is it your first time doing a roast battle? No. No? no. Okay, give it up for your first time on the show. Great debut. Yeah. Hey. Uh, yeah, I think you won it, man. That was fucking awesome. Good work. Oh man, this was a great battle. Your your 101 Dalmatians bit was good to come back with, which is funny because you look like you're living with 101 Dios and Dias back at your house. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. rice and beans, fool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's just be let's just be racist for the rest of the show. Hey hey, why'd you write your jokes with a fucking burrito? <laughs> You're Mexican or something brown, and it's funny. All right. Um, I thought your writing was lazy, dog. This uh, is Mexican. No, that was good. That was nice. Um, and Liz, nice, nice dress. You look like a, like a, a fat. Um, no, it's like a Tinkerbell, but instead of Tinkerbell, it would be Tonka Bell. I will, I'm going to have to ask you to return my grandmother's drapes after the show, by the way. <laughs> 
No, this was great. I'm sorry. This was an awesome battle. I'm going to give it to Liz. All right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think Liz just looks like female Peyton, which is awesome. <laughs> this is Peyton. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, Victor, you look like you just got off a shift at Olive Garden, and also you work in a garden. <laughs> and Liz looks like she eats at Olive Garden. <laughs> Victor wins. All right, two for Victor. AJ, go ahead. Uh, yeah, it's great to finally have a real man up here, and also uh, Victor, and that's why. Uh, <laughs> you guys look like if the last battle went through like some real dark shit, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Just like a horrible year, and uh, I don't know. This was fun. It was a great battle. Victor, first time, crushed it. Uh, I'm gonna go with Victor. All right, Victor's our winner, everybody. Final thoughts from Max Orange. Very fun battle. The two of you up there, it's like uh, it's like the the girl working the corner in Vegas, and then a gay guy who's like, not in those shoes, honey. Um, <laughs> Liz, you rock. You're so you're great at roast, but Victor, you're just evil tonight. So I gotta yeah. give it to Victor. Yeah. All right, Victor is our winner. Great job, everybody. Give it up for them. Um, let's Liz. We want to talk to his opponent tonight, Liz Becker. Um, Yo. she's incredible. She did amazing. She does amazing every time. Tonight was a brutal battle though for you. Um, how do we feel? How do we feel about it? Um, I mean, to be honest, I almost canceled on him. I almost wasn't <laughs> able to make it. Uh, you know, a lot of this got ringed last minute. I just had other shows and things going on. Yeah. I had to prioritize. Absolutely. Yeah. Hey, that's okay. I mean, you fill in for us uh, a lot of the time, and we appreciate you and your uh, energy and your effort, no matter what. And it was still a fun battle. Yeah. It was just a very mean battle. It's just, it's just fun to get up there. Like, I have three brothers that I grew up with, so this is just fun. It just reminds me of getting together with my brothers. Yeah. I just like working as a I, I will say, you, you take a hit very, very well. You're very good at taking it and giving it right back, and then just yeah. keeping a good energy on stage. That's some, sometimes very hard for... Um, not like even, not even newer yeah. roast battlers, but battlers in general. You get your feelings turned up there, and some sometimes they they hit below the belt, which I feel like you got hit below the belt a few times tonight. But you also hit below the belt, which is, which is what makes you awesome. So thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, thank you. I mean, that's the whole objective of, of this, right? Like, if you're not cheat, you're not playing to win. Yeah. I did take out a bunch of jokes that I felt like were a little too racist, <laughs> and I was like, let me just calm the fuck down. Um, but yeah, this is really fun. I'm always ready for the fat jokes. I grew up with three brothers. This is not none of this is below the belt for me personally. Okay, and, and, so, and that's why you fucking rock. Thank you so much for doing it tonight. Well, do you see who you're battling next? Do you have one lined up for you soon? I don't think I have another lineup yet. Good, she pressed. She pressed. <laughs> yeah. They've been doing this a lot for us, and we really appreciate it. I also have, like, just a bunch of my own shows booked. I'm yeah. opening for Blake Burkhardt in November in Madison, so I've just been doing, like, traveling and shows. Fuck yeah. yeah. Well, go on out and see Liz, and, yeah. and then maybe Blake. I don't know. Yeah, but definitely sure. see Liz out there doing her real stand-up. Uh, yeah. That's, that's fucking awesome. Oh, yeah. Shit, you know? Yeah, that's my main gig. This yeah. is just fun. So yes. please see my actual stand-up. It's fun little writing exercise. Yeah.